Hi my friends and welcome back to the channel. I'm Legacy Stacker and today we're going to continue our discussion on global warming or climate change. This is the second video in this series of videos on my channel that I plan to tie together in future videos with the impact on the central bank digital currency and eventually the future of US coins. At the same time, we'll be reviewing the silver Morgan and Peace dollars I just received from the US Mint from this year, 2023. Come for the coins and stay for the discussion. But first, to the computer. Now, here we are at the SD Bullion website. Today is Monday, July 31st, 2023. The silver spot price is $24.54. The gold spot price is $1,969, which gives us a gold to silver ratio of 80 to 1. Hi, my Precious Metals fans. I'm very excited to announce that SD Bullion has approved my channel into its Bullion Affiliate Program. So if you would like to purchase your Precious Metals from SD Bullion, please use my affiliate links below in the description. It won't cost you any more, and it will really help my channel out. SD Bullion is not sponsoring this video, but they are one of the most trusted bullion sites when purchasing precious metals. Here's the disclaimer. The coins we'll be reviewing today are the 2023 Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars, which just arrived from the U.S. Mint. The first coin is this 2023 Morgan Silver Dollar. It comes in a mint box with the Certificate of Authenticity, commonly referred to as the COA. I bought this coin directly from the U.S. Mint as part of the U.S. Mint subscription program. And as we look at the reverse, we can see there is no mint mark there, indicating the Philadelphia Mint which is the main mint where all the coin dies are created. This coin is in great shape and I expect I'll have it graded at NGC. And now it's time for viewer mail. Today I received a letter from Tobacco Row. In case you were wondering, as you can see on the back of this envelope he sent me, it says I don't have to hide his address. The card reads, Tobacco Row, YouTube Family Channel and Morgan Dollar Stacker, Precious Metal Outlaw. I love that. He stacks Morgan Silver Dollars as I collect them, and we got to talking via the comments and he said he also stacks and collects Lincoln and Indian cents. His note goes on to read, To Legacy Stacker Morgan Dollar Collector From Tobacco Row Morgan Dollar Prep Stacker Disclaimer, I am old, retired and my vision is shot, so I have to clean my coins to see what they look like. It's okay, I'm not a coin collector. Here's an envelope full. I cleaned that one, but I've gone so blind I still can't see the date. Maybe one of your youngsters can make it out. He sent me this steel cent from, I believe, 1943, as it was the only year the steel cents were minted. He sent me this Indian cent from 1905. Wow, that's incredibly old. And it's the only Indian head cent I now own, so that makes it so special. Tobacco Rose sent me a 1949D, 1966, and a 1997D Lincoln scent, which have the Lincoln Memorial on the reverse. And this Lincoln head scent from 2022, which has the new shield on the reverse, so really all of the major variety of U.S. scents throughout the years. Thank you so much, Tobacco Row. These Lincoln, Indian Head, and Steel Scents, along with your note, will all go into my Legacy Stacker Forever Collection. If you would like to send me a letter, a sticker, or even silver or gold, my address is right here. And of course, in the description down below. Anything I receive, I will review on the channel, as these items will be my most precious possessions. And I can promise you anything I receive, I will never sell. They will remain in my Legacy Stacker Forever collection. This is my second video on the topic of climate change. I wanted to create this series of videos because it's not what you may think it is. In my first video on this topic, I covered the video, An Inconvenient Truth, presented by former Vice President Al Gore. If you haven't seen my first video on global warming, I'll put a link right up here so you can check it out. 
I plan to tie this video together in future videos with the impact on the CBDC or central bank digital currency and even the future of coins and coin collecting. But before we discuss the CBDC, we have to discuss climate change. You see, climate change is the cause they want us to get behind. And the CBDC is the way they plan to enforce the rules or the controls they plan to put in place to ensure we all comply. The Green New Deal was created to combat climate change. Here are the highlights of the Green New Deal. The 15 Green New Deal highlights can be grouped into three basic categories. First, reduce emissions in your home buy a hybrid vehicle or electric vehicle and be a green consumer, or buy products which are less harsh on the environment. So the bottom line is they want to control the products you buy. The second category of highlights of the Green New Deal have to do with reducing your carbon footprint. Now I'm going to provide a link to Sorel Amour's video on her Abundantia channel entitled Your Carbon Footprint is a Lie, and we all fell for it. She sums it up better than I ever could in the video on her channel. I'll leave a link right up here so you can check that video out. And special thanks to Sorel for doing the research and helping us to see exactly who created the term carbon footprint and why. The answers will surprise you. The third category of highlights from the Green New Deal have to do with politics. Things like, quote, become a catalyst of change, raise awareness by promoting, consider sending someone to Nashville to learn how to present the slides and help with the mass persuasion campaign, unquote. And some of my favorites in this broad category, quote, become politically active or rebrand global warming to climate crisis because it's a planetary emergency, unquote. You see, they want us all to get behind this, not only in the United States, but they want the entire world to get behind it so they can not only control the US, but also control the world. The second coin we'll be reviewing today is this 2023 silver piece dollar. It also comes in a mint box with a certificate of authenticity. I bought this coin directly from the US Mint as part of the US Mint subscription program. And as we look at the reverse, we can see there is no mint mark there, indicating the Philadelphia Mint. This coin is in great shape, and I also plan to have it graded at NGC. Hi, my friends. As you can tell, I've made a decision to keep my identity anonymous on this channel for security reasons. Please feel free to participate in my million subscribers challenge by clicking on the subscribe button below. Do you really want to know who I am? If so, please click on the subscribe button below and when I reach 1 million subscribers, I will move from behind the camera to in front of the camera. That's my challenge to you. Subscribing to my channel won't cost a thing and most of all, thank you. Now back to our topic of climate change. In the US, based on 2016 numbers, our fossil fuels are comprised of 28% from electricity. Yes, don't be surprised when you hear that much of our electricity is created from burning coal. 28% is created from transportation, 22% from industry, 11% from commercial and residential, and 9% from agriculture. So if we drill down into the electric vehicles coming onto the market, Currently, only about 2% of the U.S. vehicles are electric vehicles. At current, they are not affordable for the average hardworking American, even with the $7,500 tax break. The average vehicle on the road today lasts anywhere between 5 to 10 years, with some lasting 20 years on the road. In my opinion, at a minimum, that's how long it will take people to convert to electric vehicles, and only when they become more affordable. In my first video on this subject, I mentioned that the biggest mistake they've made is in the timing. They want all of this to happen by 2030, or 10 years since it was first proposed. A longer target, like 20, 50, or even 100 years would be more reasonable to solve this problem, long before it truly becomes a crisis. I also mentioned in that video that what this plan doesn't take into account is the enormous cost this would incur. They want us to buy electric vehicles, get rid of natural gas heating, and even natural gas stoves in our homes and businesses, they even want us to become vegan since agriculture also causes greenhouse gases. That's ridiculous, and more importantly, it's too much to ask of us, and needlessly too fast. And no, I don't have any plan to ever give up meat in my diet. To be honest, I did try a vegan diet once, but it was a disaster for my body. Plus, even if the US was completely using 100% clean energy, as they propose, what about the other countries around the globe? our efforts and sacrifices would be in vain. 
What about the carbon emissions from natural disasters like forest fires? It would be nice to set the example for the world, but the timing is too short and the costs are simply too high. These two videos on global warming and climate change describe the global cause they want us all to get behind. Stay tuned to my upcoming videos on the central bank digital currency where I'll tie the CBDC into this topic as it's how they plan to control us to get us to comply with the Green New Deal. This week's YouTube channel shout out of the week goes to Silver Oceans. I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description below. Silver Oceans talks about silver and gold and precious metals pricing on his channel. Again, I'll include a link to Silver Ocean's YouTube channel down in the description below. A special thank you to my loyal patrons, without whom this channel would not be possible. Thank you, my friends. I truly appreciate your support. And always remember, my friends, silver and gold, it's wealth you can hold in your hands.